Bart's competing. He's competing like near Disney, which isn't that far, but it's not that close. And he lifts. He probably starts lifting at like eight. Yeah. So we just got a hotel down there, and then we'll stay with Nads, and then we'll leave. Damn, he's by Disney. Like yeah. Westminster, Anaheim area. Yeah, Anaheim. Bart's competing tomorrow. He's gonna take an elite total down. He's gonna fuck it nine for nine, and we're here to handle it. But right now we're starving. Me and Sebastian just flew to LA. Naz picked us up. The best Uber driver you could ever have. One hour late. Only one hour late. Dude, every Uber driver in LA though gives me car sickness. Every single yeah, one. It's bad. N Nadim doesn't. And so now um, we're in Anaheim somewhere. We don't really know, but we're gonna go find some barbecue because we ended up. We're in staying a at the Ramada Hotel. Come find us. <laughs> room. What room are we? 415. 415. 415. <laughs> if you guys find me in my room, then you can have my entire bag. You can have a whole wallet too. So we're gonna go eat um, barbecue because when in Rome. And then that's it. We'll probably see you at 7 o'clock at Bart's weigh ins. 7 o'clock. I think Bart just weighed in, put in his opener. He's opening at 440. Just kind of along the game plan, the goal is to hit around a 500 round squat. I got a triple check, but. Pretty sure just goals 9 for 9. He's got some uh, elite totals in his brains, but you can always adjust that. So openers. Try to set you up for that elite total, or at least that's how I do it. So we'll set that up, obviously based on what he's capable of in his training, but the second and thirds will depend and adjust more based on the nine for nine than the elite total, right? Because you just don't really know until a bar's on your back. We think he'll go 440, 475, 01, but maybe he's moving a little slower, maybe he's moving a little faster, maybe his confidence is there, maybe it's not there. Um, so that's my goal to hopefully just all you can do in game day is push his confidence uh, and make the right call so he can be successful. I'm just kind of excited to see what like 400 moves like. Cause then I can start to play a little bit of games in my head. Again, like the strategy ain't that crazy, right? normally take about 100% or what your goal is for the day, which you think you can hit. And hopefully, based on your programming, your coaching, your training, you have a decent grasp of that. Whether you hit it in training, right? If we hit 500 pounds in training, is about an RPE 9. We know that 500 to 520, if you taper correctly, is gonna be here today. So you take from that, our opener is gonna be 90-ish percent of that weight for our opener. Um, our second attempt is going to be anywhere from 93 to 96 or 7 percent of that, and then depending on that is where we're going to end up between the 500 and the 520. So again, it's not crazy math. There's some basic maths to it. Um, when you start to duel with somebody at a meet and your goal is to win the meet, there's a little bit of extra strategy at the end, but it's really not that complicated. You just need a dots calculator. <laughs> How are you feeling, Bart? Yeah, you're here like good. 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 Yeah, pretty good. Feels good. All the homies are here. Lifting on a weekend is always a good time, you know. How that? Uh, what happened with that last attempt on squats? To be honest, it's probably because I'm weak. Because um, first attempt went good. Second attempt, it's a little bit harder than what I was expecting, especially with that weight. Like I've, been, I've hit four, like consistent 450, 490s all of this whole meat prep. But you know, when your weight comes down, it does get harder and harder. So I didn't expect not to get it, especially since I did 468. I was, that's just five pounds more, but it ended up being too much. And I was in the zone, you know, I wasn't distracted. It wasn't one of those where my feet positioning was off. Like everything was locked in and perfect, but um, that just tells me my strength wasn't there. So. Can't dwell on it too much because I still got two more lifts. So now I'm like focusing on, okay, put that behind me. Now get on bench and then what do I got to do to make sure bench is good. So um, he can move the weight easy. We're just going to try to find a way that it's impossible for his butt to come up. So there's two different options. If you're flexible enough, you'll tuck your heels even deeper into you. Um, the other option is you Y out as far as you can. So you get like a little less tension, um, but he doesn't really need like, like all you need is tension. You're like, just lay down. Be so you tuck your heels more and try that. Do you want to go like this? Flex your ass. Flex your ass. No, not that bad. Just flex your ass. Is you still on the bench? Yeah. Yeah. You'd be like right there. Reflex as hard as you can on the lower body? Yeah. Can it happen? Does that make sense? But I feel like we'll go 
Yeah, so they keep moving them out. <laughs> yeah, like that. But get tension on your toes. Yeah. All right. You're going to make me snap my ankles. <laughs> you won't snap your ankles. <laughs> Hold in there. I feel great. Yeah, I feel great. I'm a little hungry. I want to watch the Kings. Sack town. We got the playoff game in a second. Um, but I'm excited to bark. Uh, I think you'll have a good poll. I think actually of all things, his poll was a little roughest in um, training, but um, he's in a good spirit, so that'll help. A little energy in there. Music's turned up. Fog, crowd. He's pulling with some really strong kids um, that are like right around his area. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Yeah, it just happens. <laughs> yeah. I can't even control it anymore. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's fine. You would think by my current state that I have competed today. In fact, I did nothing today. I basically did some basic uh, arithmetic. But this is the kind of shit we vibe with. Get yourself I watch UFO documentaries, animal documentaries, and then movies I've already seen on repeat. I've already seen this. We literally saw this little guy give birth earlier. You ever seen an elephant give birth? No DMCAS History Channel, we're trying to help you. Um, we're heading to Austin hella early. So I'm gonna try to sleep. Boys are still packing because they're young and they're unorganized. Oh yeah, so much shit. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, we head out like six. So I don't know if this gonna be a new video. It might be, or tomorrow might be a new video, or they might be like meshed into one three days. But we're gonna head to Austin. Hopefully set up, catch part at the airport. Hopefully just eat barbecue until I can't breathe anymore. I'm probably gonna come back 280 pounds. But it's bedtime. <laughs>